All right, so here is today's Goodwill find of the day. This is a Dell Optiplex 7010. One of those old gaming computers that you used to see people doing videos on a few years ago. Um, you still get these things really cheap. Um, case in point, $25 there from Goodwill. $25. And I'm going to open this thing up right now and you will see something very interesting about this particular one. The fact that this thing is pretty much untouched and doesn't appear to have ever been opened. You can see the little fan there in the front has a little bit of dust in it. The CPU cooler is pretty dusty, but overall it's not too dirty. It's not terrible. Good, um, a good dose of this right here will take care of it pretty nicely. Uh, but it has a hard drive, DVD drive, graphics card, everything here is all there. The RAM. This thing appears to be all original and um, I'm just going to clean it up here real quick and then we will go from there. Alright, so I suppose step one to cleaning this thing up will be to remove this guy right here. Doesn't appear to have ever been uh, messed with at all, so let's just take a look here. Oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> that is solid right there. That is going to come off in the form of dust right there I'm afraid. Man, it's not, let's see, it's not too bad though as far as dust is concerned. It's not packed all the way. Can we get that to focus close up? There we are. Not too bad as far as these things go. I have seen them where they're packed with dust all the way down. Let's see what kind of CPU we're looking at here. We are looking at an i3 3240, uh, so third gen uh, Intel CPU. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, I will remove the graphics card really quick there. It's a little hard to remove, but I got it out. And uh, I will go ahead and dust it out. It's not really that dusty at all. A little bit of dust on the fan, but there's not really a ton of area for dust to get into on this graphics card, to be fair. So, there you go. I'm not sure what this is exactly. There's not really anything that would indicate what it is without looking these numbers up, so there you go. It looks like a R5 300 or whatever. A little bit of a dent in the back of it. It looks like somebody was unhappy with it, uh, perhaps trying to uh, figure out where something connects to. And uh, let's see there, a little, yeah, you can see it there, a little, a little bit of a dent right in there in that part of it. So. Maybe somebody's trying to figure out how to plug something in and just mashed it or something, I don't know. I may have to take the hard drive out and get down in there. Let's say that. Oh, okay. That's easy. Thanks, Dell. That, that makes it a little bit easier. So to take the front panel, front plastic piece off of this computer, this part here, um, it looks like we will just pull up these little plastic tabs here, one at a time like that, and it'll just pop right on off. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Gotta get that focused. That's not the worst thing I've ever seen, certainly, but probably the biggest dust buildup on this thing. I'll tell you what, what would help for that is this right here an old sponge. Let's take that and uh, just kind of wipe, wipe, the, wipe the brunt of that off. There you go. Get rid of that. And uh, now I'm going to try to figure out how this fan comes off. Alright, so it's pretty easy to get this fan off. All you do is there's two uh, holes. One is a little bit smaller than the other. And now uh, you just kind of take this uh, round rubber piece and push it up towards the larger hole. And it just pops out. And then with this one here, there you go. Could have just used screws, Dell, but... You know, they, they don't like to do this things the simple way. So, pop this out. Let's see what this is. This looks like this has 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM. That is, let me see here, PC3-10600U. I have no idea what that is, but whatever. So with the fan, we'll just kind of pop those little rubber pieces back in. 
How in the world did that go? All right, I just remembered that it went like this, but I just wanted to point out quickly that this thing also supports the installation of a two and a half inch um, drive, like an SSD. So if you wanted to upgrade this to an SSD, which I probably will at some point, uh, you would install it right there. And this puts some screws in the side like that. So that's very nice. All right, this thing will go just like this, I believe. Let me see. Problem with this overly simplistic stuff sometimes is that it's a little bit complicated to figure out how it went back in. Just kind of popped out, but then how do you get it back in? But looks like that's in there pretty good. Yep. All right. Now then, let's see. That looks pretty clean overall. It wasn't terribly dirty, as I said, so that always helps. All right. I think the next step is clean this thing up. Alright, so I have searched everywhere I can think of for a screwdriver that will fit through uh, that hole right there um, to unscrew that screw right there. If we can get that focused in, there you go. See, there's a screw right there. You either need one that is L-shaped to fit there. I don't have anything like that. Or one that can fit through that hole and go down through to loosen that, which will remove the fan from the um, heat sink. I have this tiny one here, but it's too small. It doesn't uh, loosen the screw. So that's what we're gonna have to do. I'm going to remove the computer from up here so that this dust will not go inside of it. And I'm just gonna have to kind of do my best here to blow this thing out. Take that out real quick and see. Get a little more power. There you go. It cleaned up pretty nicely. Actually did a pretty good job there. I'm not seeing much dust at all. Like I said, with this computer, the dust wasn't like really badly packed in there. Alright, next step is to get this old thermal paste off of here. Alright, so my other camera finally died. Uh, rest in peace to it, but uh, anyway, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the rag. It's easier. Let's take this and get a little bit of it on there and wipe this stuff off. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, most of the thermal paste is off of there now. Um, it's just a little bit discolored. Get this computer back up here. There we are. And we will clean off the CPU. That'll be easy because there's hardly anything on it. Alright, so as far as thermal paste is concerned, I've got one of these little cheapy uh, things here from eBay or something, whatever it is. You can get like a hundred pack of these for five dollars or something. Um, no, you can get like a five pack of these for five dollars or something like that on eBay. Um, really cheap ones. Uh, if you're going to be doing this on a regular basis, fixing up old computers, cleaning, keeping your computer clean, whatever type of computer that may be, um, I would recommend getting higher quality stuff than this. I'm probably going to be upgrading this thing soon. Um, I'm just kind of getting it cleaned up here to test it out and see if everything works. But, um, yeah, if you're going to be doing this for real, um, I'd recommend getting something a little higher quality. But, anyway, I'm going to be using this. Oop, and a little bit of, a little dab of it there in the middle. Um, this isn't a terribly high-powered CPU, so if we don't get a perfect application, um, then it's not a huge deal. But, anyway, alright, so we'll put it back in just like that. Make sure the screws are lining up go put that back in and there you go as I said I'm not going to replace the graphics card right now I just want to make sure everything works and uh, I will test it with the graphics card later now I will replace the side panel almost forgot to put this back on didn't I all right let me get that back on there real quick there we go and then that thing just kind of goes back on. There we go. 
There we go. All right, so I suppose this is the shop PC setup now. Um, everything you see here came from Goodwill except for the mouse pad. This is uh, pretty much the mouse pad you have to use with a setup like this. I don't know of any more pr appropriate mouse pad. Anyway, um, I just got this mouse as well from Goodwill for 55 cents. So we'll be testing it out for the first time. I have yet to plug this up because I don't know if the computer will turn itself on when I plug it up. But let's see. Let's see if it turns on. Let's see if it works. Yep, it turned itself on. All right. Looks like the monitor's power cable came loose there. There we go. The computer boot looped a couple times there, but uh, everything worked fine. Um, it actually boot looped three times, um, which is a little bit unusual. Usually they just do it a couple times, but anyway. Um, let's see. Invalid configuration format. Setup. Yep. We want to set this thing up. Obviously it works perfectly fine. Media test failure. Check cable. Uh, um, okay. That's not what I was expecting. So it booted straight into Windows 10. Um, well, when you buy things from Goodwill, you never quite know what to expect, do you? Okay, obviously the computer works fine. I didn't expect anything different, really. Old office computers, they don't really stop working. You know, they just they keep on going. Yeah, it looks like this is Goodwill's um, installation. I've gotten a computer in the past that had this on it. And uh, if I remember correctly, it will be a very, very outdated version of Windows 10 from like 2016 or so. But anyway, I'll let it boot up the rest of the way and we'll see when, what it does. Oh, all right, good timing. All right. Let's see, yep, yeah, mouse works perfectly fine, everything's on here. Oh, it has Team, team Viewer pre-installed. That's good, I always like to see that. But yeah, I haven't used this monitor in a while, so nice monitor. Probably should use it a little more, a little more often since it's a fairly nice monitor. There we go, automatically configured, there we go. Everything's perfectly fine. It'll be slow, obviously, because it's on that hard drive. Oh, wow. What in the world is that? Um, well, like I said, uh, you never quite, never quite know what you're getting, what you're getting into with the old uh, Windows 10 here. Oh yeah, we need to test the speaker too, since these old Dell, Dell Optiplexes have had built-in speakers forever. Let's see. All right. quiet but it's there all right anyway let's see uh, I want to see properties of this PC i3 3240 CPU 4 gigs of RAM uh, mouse not very good Windows 10 Pro 2019 what is that I've never seen that before there's some kind of special start menu why in the world is that <laughs> Why in the world is that on here? It's like a Windows XP start menu. This is a profound moment on my channel. I've never seen that before. Why does Google, or Google, what in the world am I saying? Why does Goodwill put that on here, I wonder? And that is very interesting, wow. All right, just in case the camera didn't pick this up very well, and there's the team viewer pre-installed right there and there's the weird Windows XP style start menu you can click on this up here and it will bring up the regular start menu with these awful apps pre-installed of course so there you go um, it's got I guess this is like the ATI yeah the AMD thing you don't have the AMD graphics card but there you go one drive and all of that stuff is on there. Very cool though. Very cool computer indeed. Thank you very much for watching.